Today, the National Trust of Historic Preservation named Chicano murals of Colorado to their list of the 11 most endangered historic places across the country this year. They were nominated because of damage caused by weathering, rapid urban development, and gentrification. This listing is not about one artist, one mural, community, or city. This listing recognizes the historical significance of an art form embraced by historically marginalized communities across the country and in Colorado during the civil rights movement. These murals will now be legally protected across the state, keeping them from being damaged or destroyed by development. This announcement comes after more than four years of work to get Chicano murals recognized for protection. And 9 News reporter Nelson Garcia now talks with those who say that it's crucial to save the past for the future. In neighborhoods across Colorado, something endangered lives. This skull, which represents death. Emmanuel Martinez put the paint on these walls in 1978 to celebrate the Chicano heritage around what's now called La Alma Lincoln Park in Denver. It beautifies the neighborhood and it, you know, it has a message uh, that, that reflects uh, a lot of the people that were here and you know, it's something they could identify with and feel, be proud of. Emmanuel is the father of the mural movement in Colorado. As you can see, there's some colors that have faded over the years. And the father of Lucha Martinez de Luna who started the Chicano Murals of Colorado project to save the work of artists like her father. It's significant because they are very much under threat. They're erased a lot. Um, there's very few murals that were painted in the early 70s that still exist. I do, I do believe it's history being erased. The reality is over time, in addition to murals getting worn down, Lucha says they are figuratively and literally being whitewashed. In preservation, a mural in Colorado is classified only as paint on a wall. They're not acknowledging the art, they're not acknowledging the culture, and they're not acknowledging the history. Until now, the National Trust for Historic Preservation lists Chicano Community Murals of Colorado as one of America's most endangered historic places in 2022. I really felt like, finally, you know, we're being heard by people like Dawn DePrince. Yes, this is not one and done. Dawn is the State Historic Preservation Officer and runs History Colorado Center, which already celebrates Chicano murals. But she says being listed as a National Endangered Historic Place can prevent these murals and others from being painted over or destroyed. It is the first time murals have been included on the 11 most endangered list. I think that it is an evolution of thinking about what we preserve. For history, for legacy. This mural was painted by Alicia Cardenas. Cardenas was one of five people killed during a shooting spree by one man in Denver and Lakewood in December. For me, it's really, really critical that we protect her memory, and this is the best way to do it, through her art. And her statement on social justice in 2020 during the pandemic. This is her. This is everything that was important to her at the moment she was painting this. When we lose things like Chicano murals, uh, it's irreplaceable. And, and we lose, you know, whole chunks of cultural identity and, and really, in many cases, cultural celebration. Murals in San Luis and Pueblo and others around Denver are now on this endangered list. The most important thing right now is the awareness. Lucha hopes governments and building owners will start to protect murals and even begin efforts to remove the whitewash, like on this business in Denver. It is history. This is, you know, murals, what they are is they're essentially visual text. Much more. Never would have known that it would become a historical designation. Than just paint on a wall. They're important to keep for the community. You know, it represents a part of history that, that, that we have to preserve and, and acknowledge. Nelson Garcia, Nine News. You can learn the history, but uh, you can also just say they're beautiful. Right, you know, exactly. They really appreciate them. enhance. Lucha wants to add more of the Colorado murals to the endangered list. Dawn says she would also like to have specific murals added to the state's historic register. That would provide more protection towards preservation.